My name is Dr. Noah Leatherland. I'm a dairy nutritionist at the University of Minnesota. I did my training at the University of Illinois. Uh, I've been at the University of Minnesota for four years now. I have a dual appointment, 50% research, 50% extension. Most of my research focuses on transition cow nutrition uh, with implications on health and, and also nursery calf research with implications for nutrition and health as well. And I do some forage quality research. So we ran a trial a year ago looking at, uh, at, at supplementing biochlor for either 21 or 42 days in, in pre-fresh diets. Uh, our objectives were to determine if we could feed dry cows uh, a biochlor based diet uh, for the entire dry period and what effects that would have on postpartum performance and health. So. Some of the research uh, at the University of Wisconsin, some of Nigel Cook's research, has suggested that cows that are fed uh, within one group during the entire dry period that minimizes the number of diet and also group changes, reduces social stress, those cows really perform better uh, than the traditional way of moving cows through a far off to a close up group. And so what we wanted to know, producers that are interested in doing a negative decad strategy, can we feed that negative decad diet for the entire dry period, 42 days, versus uh, only 21 days, which is the more traditional approach? So the research trial was, uh, was, was, was really interesting. I didn't expect huge uh, milk response, but we actually did see a, a significant improvement in milk yield in those cows that were supplemented with either BioClor for 21 or 42 days postpartum. So I get on a, a large number of farms and it, it's a, a, a lot of different strategies and approaches to feeding dry cows uh, really are successful. But I think many producers underestimate the amount of milk that they're potentially losing whenever they're not addressing uh, hypocalcemia in those, in those cows. So a negative decad program reduces the risk of hypocalcemia. It should improve postpartum dry matter intake. One of the, the major observations that we saw when we intensively studied these cows by using BioClor was that uh, liver metabolism was overall improved, there were lower liver triglycerides, uh, there were also higher amounts of liver glycogen. This basically indicates that the cows are healthier and uh, more productive. And so what I would challenge producers is to consider using products like BioClor uh, within their dry cow diet to determine uh, if that would improve their performance overall. They may be currently happy with their cow health and cow performance postpartum, but I think they need to realize there's potentially milk that's on the table there that they can go out and, and, uh, and uh, get better performance from their cows by addressing hypocalcemia problems.